Hello and welcome, one and all. This is Old School Gaming 1971 here. Millie, Lloyd, everyone, hope you're all having a great day. If you would, please like and comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Support the channel and help it grow. Today's thoughts is on Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. I've been playing this game for around three hours and this is what I think. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection developed by Digital Eclipse. It's a one on one beat em up which released for the PlayStation 4 in 2018. What we have here is a collection of 12 Street Fighter games the original Street Fighter, 5 variations of Street Fighter 2, 3 variations of Street Fighter 3, and the Street Fighter Alpha trilogy. The original came about when I was a teenager in 1987. These are great fun and I had to get this when I saw what value this collection is. Digital Eclipse is an American developer based in Emeryville, California. Established in 1992, they started off developing commercial emulations for arcade games for the Game Boy Color, eventually merging with Imagine Engine and creating Backbone Entertainment. The company fragmented and so Other Ocean Interactive was born. In 2015 they purchased and revived the Digital Eclipse brand. There is a story for everyone, but well too many to mention here, without including the 12 games on show in the collection. So let's talk a little bit about the games here. They have chosen for the first three Street Fighter games different variations of each game some faster, some different characters, and some better balancing. Add in the three alpha games, and it is real value for a Street Fighter fan. So is this Street Fighter, or is it Road Pusher? As one of the earlier examples of a one-on-one -on -one beat em up whilst not the first, it has many of the tropes that we've come to expect today. First player on the left, special moves, in fact, for the first few years following, you could add in artistic style, characters, and even how to pull off moves. I like the artistic style. For its time, it was a top-notch looking game. Many games including Mortal Kombat would not exist today if it was not for Street Fighter. What you are hearing here are the sounds of my misspent youth. The sounds of these games filled the arcades and there would always be a crowd around the machine. The music is iconic, as is the sound of every blow. The voices you recognise. Considering the first game released in 1987, it was impressive and would say that the game is a classic. In no small part, this is thanks to that arcade sound. For anyone who thinks that you can win this game with just button mashing. This was and is a game of skill. Watching a player with the gib, Dan Deepin was damn good at beat em ups. With multiple characters getting down the move sets, I know some of them are transferable, but hitting those moves over and over again takes real talent. From that first bar, that first punch, I was back in the arcade, both visually and sound wise. This is arcade perfect. I know it should be 30 years later, but it's not always. You want to win every match, and does kind of get frustrating. This had always been great in single player and better in two player. This was a joypad killer for me in the past. This game is a real trip down memory lane. River Miles and me spent hours on the SNES version of this game, listening to The Doors, Guns N' Roses and The Beach Boys. The worst part of playing this game is realising how out of practice I was. Games is not about the gib anymore. 
That is not to say there is no skill to gaming, just a different kind of skill. So Street Fighter this most definitely is. I'm off to Crutch Punch Sagat. P.S. This game is so worth the money. Some 12 Street Fighter games are a must for any fan. <laughs> If you are hearing this, you've made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for your support and give it a big thumbs up and comment if you enjoy the video. Please share everywhere as it helps the channel grow and puts a big old smile on this old face. Leave your suggestions down below in the comments. Enjoy your day one and all. Old School Gamer 1971, signing off.